tremendous amount of support for the Triton series. Comes from Malaysia. Strong ties. Are you at all surprised to see Junwa Yap under the gun, getting involved with a hand like pocket sevens? Yeah, these small pocket pairs are not as strong as we said. Um, he decides to limp in with it though, hoping to see a very cheap flop. I'm sure some of the players Four would have just folded it right away. But they're just five-handed though, so has to think about what we discussed earlier. Some There's of the no hesitation the middle. centers around the idea that, well, there's so many coordinated boards, you flop a set, and you could be up against the nuts. But, as you and I learned during our primer earlier today, those sets are actually favorites against straights on the flop, ever so slightly. Yeah, they're favorite against against made straights, but have to be careful of straight draws, which is kind of the funny thing. Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah on, a, on, a, on a flop like maybe 7, 9, queen or something, 7 seemed like a strong hand, but... Any open-ended straight draw, 10-8, is super powerful too, so you're not really a favorite with your set against those kind of hands. Well, Paul Pua's Jack-10 was very powerful on the Jack-9-8 board, where he had top it pair doesn't. and an open-ender. But with the arrival of the 10, there is a four straight on board, and despite improving to top two pair, there are some concerns to be had. Not that Paul is experiencing those concerns as he fires yet again 8,000 at Ivan Liao. And Liao calls with just a pair of nines here. Does have a gut shot to the king high straight. Yeah, interesting call. He he blocks the king queen that Paul has in his range. Ace is pretty much a blank here. King queen still the nuts. And this was always something that Liao had on his mind. With Pua not willing to fire again on the river, Ivan can very much turn his hand into a bluff. Yes, he knows he's not good here. Just fourth pair. Has the important king, so a little bit less afraid of being trapped here by the king-queen. And we know him. I would be a little bit surprised if he just gave this up right here. And he says, all in. <laughs> Back over to Paul. Who knows? Yeah. This is <laughs> only a bluff catcher. This is not a value gem by a hand like Jack-9. This is a straight or nothing. Uh, uh, but this is a huge, huge bet. And look at Paul. Not sold. Yeah, but he knows his, his opponent, right? He knows yeah. Ivan is definitely yeah. capable of making a big move here. Nine. But Paul also knows he could have a straight himself so easily. He could play a hand like, like Queen-Jack this way. So he decides to let go of his two <laughs> pair. <laughs> oh, and Liao shows him the bluff. <laughs> a sporting move there. <laughs> <laughs> and if there's anybody that you want to do it with, it is Paul Pua because he enjoys the game so much that even when he's on the wrong end of a situation like that, it brings him joy. You see him laughing. He said, I wanted to check raise you all in. You beat me to it. Nobody has more fun on the felt than Paul. Yeah, great, great hand there by both players. Can't blame Paul for the fold, but uh, Ivan gets the better of him this time.